Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more World of Warships. Yes, we continue the look at the French cruisers. Uh, and we're looking at the tier 3 today, the Friant. Yes, um, uh, the light cruiser project designed after the end of World War 1 that revealed an acute sh shortage of this type of ship in the French Navy. Primary features of the project were high speed, weak armour, powerful torpedo armament and main guns placed in turrets. Yes. Now we had a look at the Jurien. Um, now the Jurien, if we're honest, was a bit meh. It was a bit meh. It was alright, but it wasn't anything special really. Um, so let's see what the tier 3 has to hold. Uh, now the Freon is a bit more of a ship looking ship, you can see there. It's got the, uh, you know, the bow that you're used to seeing, um, which is nice. It also comes with torpedoes. Yes, there they are, look. Um, now we've got uh, four triple mounted tubes on here, but we'll look at those in a second. Um, I think this is going to be a bit more interesting than the, uh, than the Jurien, I feel. Okay, survivability wise, 20,300 hit points, uh, you know, full exposure here, we uh, are fully upgraded, um, the stock comes with 18,900, and just say, so looking in a minute, the uh, the firing range 11.7 .7 stock. Um, you can only upgrade the hull and the uh, gunfire control system, so there's not a huge amount you can do with this ship. Uh, so 20,300 hit points, 4% torpedo protection, um, yeah, wow, mm, great. Uh, artillery, we have four twin mounted 139mm guns, which are nice, you know, four turrets, two at the front, and then we have uh, two at the back. Hmm, we have four single mount 90mm secondaries. Now your main batteries fire out once upgraded to 12.9 kilometers. They will do 2700 maximum AP and 2000 maximum HE uh, with a maximum fire chance of 8%. So it's not great, but uh, you know, tier three cruiser, eh, it's kind of uh, in the ballpark of where it needs to be. Um, the secondaries fire HE with a 5% fire chance and a maximum damage of 1300. Uh, if we're honest though, 3 kilometers really isn't much range. But uh, yeah, well, you have got secondaries, which a lot of tier 3s don't. The torpedoes, yes, mighty torpedoes. Um, they have got 12,233 maximum damage, 6 kilometer range. And uh, yeah, they zip along at 50, uh, 57 knots. Um, get used to that number. Yeah, the 12233. Three. Get used to it. Mm. Anti air defense, we have a rating of 12. We have two 13.2 millimeter pew pews on the front, and the uh, secondaries are dual purpose. So they fire out 4 kilometers and 1.2 with a tiny amount of damage per second. So let's not rely on them. Maximum speed 30 knots, 30 knots. Uh, turning circle of 560 meters and a rudder shift of 6 seconds. Yeah, again, kind of ballpark for a uh, tier 3 cruiser. Speed's pretty good, 30 knots. But uh, uh, let's have a quick... Look, have we got the tier 3 Japanese? Uh, I don't think we have. don't think we have. Um, that would be the one to compare it against, because the Jap cruisers generally are pretty quick. Um, so, yeah. We'll, uh, we're sort of doing okay for speed. Concealment-wise, 11.3 by sea, 5.6 by air, and of course, when you fire your guns, that goes out to 12.9. If you're on fire, it's 13.3. So, let's see what we can do to make this just a little bit better. Uh, we've got the 30 knot speed, which is nice, but we're going to up that 31.5 with the uh, the speed flag there. We are going to up the AA 
a little with the uh, the flag there and the secondaries as well we'll see if we can get those to fire out a little bit further they'll now go at 3.1 doesn't make that big a difference but you know anything is better than nothing we will uh, we'll take the fire chance flags because why wouldn't you uh, which should up our fire chance to nine yeah nine percent uh, and we've got two flags left um, we'll go for credits why not and why not we'll get the XP as well because why wouldn't you eh? why wouldn't you indeed um, so yeah that's uh, that's what we can do with that we'll get uh, get some type 5 on there some camouflage that will bring our concealment down to 11 and uh, yeah that gives us a little bit of an advantage there not much but uh, just a wee wee bit and we'll take her into a co-op like we always do with a new ship now I have played through this one uh, and I've played up to the tier 4 I'm working on the tier 4 at the moment to try and get that sorted uh, we're in a tier 2-3 match which is nice we're top tier as uh, only a St. Louis as a, another top tier well I say top tier a tier 3 ship hmm um, yeah you can see there we're upgraded the other Freant isn't and of course the uh, St. Louis you, they, yeah they've got got the edge on survivability and artillery uh, and I think even a stock one would have that edge uh, mainly because the St. Louis is made out of guns and we're not we only have uh, four twin mounted little pew pews we should do alright though got uh, a V25 and a Samson um, to be honest I'm more worried about the V25 yeah German torpedoes do not do a massive amount of dam uh, damage but that V25 can fire them out its nose which uh, yeah makes it a little bit more of a tricky customer to deal with so let's have a look at the uh, the gun arc from there yep yeah, from there uh, which isn't bad really uh, round two yeah don't turn all that quick right there's the Freon we'll, uh, we'll investigate the guns when we're not being faced off by an enemy we'll see what we can do here so even with my improved detection uh, we got a fire on that Freon which is nice Here's the V25, we need to uh, focus him down if we can. See if we can get some damage on him. Uh, I might try the torps. I can see he's coming round. He's probably pointing straight at us to try and torpedo. There we go, nice hit on him. Our torps aren't loaded yet. Oh, we've got six seconds, right. There we go, we've got a fire on him, which is always good. And we're going to put some torps in the water. I don't want to fire both sets just yet. There we go, another fire. It's a thing of beauty. We should dodge that torp, yep, there we go. And let's see if we can get another fire on him. Yeah he's not going to last very long uh, we might get the kill yeah we did jolly good right and we're going to hit the island uh, obviously a tactical beaching nothing to do with the fact I wasn't really paying attention because I was trying not to uh, get hit by that V25 torps uh, we do have this Freant here he's, he's quite a tricky little customer isn't he he's quite close uh, let's see if we can put the torps in the water there and we shouldn't get oh nice secondary kill um, let's see if we can get that St. Louis we do have this Chester here uh, I mean the guns take a little while to reload but they're not terrible there we go got the Chester down St. Louis is over there. So we're down to four enemies now. Most of which are over there. 
Uh, we can apparently hit this over here, but we'll see if we can get a shot on him on that Novik. Novik's not a bad boat, but let's see how well she burns. Now you do get a lot of hang time on the rounds out of these guns. Um, they are in the air for quite a long time. And we're taking out his, uh, his steering. Which is always a nice thing to do. And I'm going to start turning the, uh, the guns round as we head over this way. So let's see what we can do with this Novik. I think he's going forwards. Um, oh, that wasn't too bad. Doesn't look like he's under full steam though, does it? So let's put some more rounds down. Back guns are coming round slowly. Now he's under full steam. So we need to give him a little bit more lead. And there we go. Nice grouping on those shells, look. Yes. Okay, right. What's going on over here? We have... Oh, a couple of enemies here, don't we? Uh, let's go for you first, because you look like you're probably nearer to death. Yeah. And now we'll go for the St. Louis. He's going to take a torp, is he? Looks like it. No, maybe not. We don't want the St. Louis to focus us if we can help it. We'll set him on fire. Come on, guns. Reload. There we go. And St. Louis is actually close enough that we could... Uh, well, maybe not because the... Uh, Friendly is there, just over here, so we need to uh, shoot this Novik down, we get a fire on him. We are down to two enemy ships now, Let's see if we can get a fire on the back end of it, no, okay, so just this dreadful over here to go, the dreadful Dresden. Nice fire on that will do the job splendidly. Oh, need to hit it though. <laughs> okay. There we go. 1000 HP left. Nice. There we go. Job done. Right, so obviously a victory. Did well there. 21,147 damage. Uh, 49 target hits, 6 in capacitations, three sunk, seven fires, one defence flag, and two secondary hits. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, we only added 100 metres to the secondaries, but, uh, you know, we've got two hits, and one of them was a kill. Uh, 40,158 XP, 770... Uh, no, 40,158 credits, even, 770 XP, and 39 free XP. Let's see where we were. Ah, third place, not terrible. That Novik did well, didn't he? Well done you, Mr. Novik. You know what? You're going to get one of them. Plays well. Good on you, sir. Um, detail report. Let's have a look. Uh, we got the V25. We got the Dredston. We picked up that Friant. Got some good damage on that Novik. Good damage on the Chester. Respectable damage on the St. Louis. Um, 2,608 fire damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's have a look at the uh, the numbers. Uh, take home of 36,296 credits and 770 captain and boat XP. Not bad. Not bad at all. So that is the tier 3 French cruiser, the Friant. Commanded by George Michael, apparently. Or Georges Michaud. Um, yeah. Let me know what you think. Have you played it? What did you think? Um, you've got to be quite conservatively aggressive in these. Uh, they are very soft-sided. They're a bit like the British cruisers in that you really don't want to be broadside to anything. But, um, yeah, uh, low tiers, it's, it's quite good fun, I think. What do you think? Hmm, what do you think? 
So you know what I do guys, if you enjoyed the video then give the old like button a little tickle. Uh, if you're new to the channel then why not consider subscribing. But uh, that's more than enough from me for now. So it just remains for me to say, it's Captain Random, signing off. Take care guys, and I'll see you again next one.